Every morning in our prayers, we say a very meaningful paragraph. The paragraph says that these are the concepts, these are the, the precepts for which a person receives reward naturally in the next world, but also in this world. And most of these precepts, these mitzvot, have to do with chesed, with loving kindness, helping out a bride who cannot afford a dowry, helping out somebody who's sick. And one of them is v'hava'at shalom bein adam lechaveiro, making peace between one man and his fellow. This, in fact, is considered to be one of the greatest mitzvot of the Torah. You see two people fighting. Often, unfortunately, it's family members fighting perhaps about an inheritance or something. They don't get on. It becomes bitter. It then moves on to the next generation. If you have the ability to bring them back to peace again, you're an incredible person. And in fact, this was the attribute of Aharon HaKohen. Aaron, the first high priest, the brother of Moshe, about whose death we read in our parasha, Aaron passed away. He was very, very old, over the age of 120. And when he passed away, the Torah says, everybody cried for him. Everybody. This is not the case with Moshe, with Moses. At the end of the Torah, it speaks about his death, and it says that people mourned him. But it doesn't say the word call. It doesn't say that all of Israel mourned him. Well, what's the difference between Aaron and Moshe? Why did they all cry for the one brother, not the other? The answer, in fact, is quite simple. Moshe was a rabbi. He was a judge. People came to him for litigation. This person claimed that the money was his, and this person claimed that the money was his. Well, there can only be one answer. There's a guilty party and there's an innocent party. Someone's going to take home the money and somebody's going to have to give the money. And therefore, there were feelings of resentment towards Moshe. But Aaron wasn't like this. Aaron was not in that role of a rabbi and a judge. He was a high priest. And in fact, in Pirkei Avot, in Ethics of the Fathers, we are told by Hillel, Hevei mi talmi dav shel Aaron. Try to be one of the disciples of Aaron. Ohev shalom. He loved peace. Rodev shalom. He pursued peace. Ohev etabriot. He loved people. Umakavan the Torah. He would bring them back to the ways of Torah. Aaron had this incredible ability of bringing people back together again. And indeed, the Midrash gives us a number of examples. It says that Aaron would see two people fighting, and they weren't getting on. It could be two friends, it could be a husband and a wife. And he would go to the one party and he would say as follows, you know, I was just with the, with the other person, I was just with your wife. She's completely cut up about what she said. But she can't come and see you, she's so embarrassed about it. And, and therefore she said, I should go and I should speak to you and try to calm you down somewhat. And he would convince the person to then go and speak to his wife. He would then run to the wife. And he would say, you know, I was just at your husband. And he's all cut up. And he, he needs to speak to you, but he can't really do it. And please, can you go and speak to him? And in this way, he would convince the two, with a little bit of a white lie, to come back together and to make peace. And he did this so many times that the Midrash tells us that in that generation, there were thousands of boys who were named Aaron, in his merit. They were all of the Aarons because the, the parents did it as a thanks. My child only exists because of Aaron, the high priest, because he brought them back together again. In our generation, this doesn't just mean people who are actual cousins, but it means different groups of people. We have perhaps in all of Jewish history one of the worst situations possible, where there are so many groups and factions and sects whether it be in the different denominations of Judaism, whether it's Reform, Conservative, Orthodox, and within Orthodoxy itself, Hasidim, non-Hasidim, Modern Orthodox, <coughs> Centrist Orthodox, all of these different groups, and they don't always speak to one another. And some of them are bitter opponents of one another. If we can take the lesson from Aaron, from the high priest, and try to bring them back again, could you imagine what nachas, what satisfaction that would bring God? Because the one thing that really hurts a parent is when their children don't get on. And after all, the Torah says, Banim atem la Hashem You are considered like my children, Hashem says, God says. And therefore, if the two of you can get back together again, if you can help Jews come together again, you are certainly bringing great nachas to their father in heaven, as Aaron HaKohen did. I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom.